Today I'm making a very delicious easy vegetarian dish Kundru or Tindora stir fry. So please do try to make it this way and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. My channel all about easy to follow, easy to implement, ingredients always displayed on the right and highlighted for each cooking step. If you like my channel, please do not forget to subscribe, share and like. So come follow along and cook with me. First we'll fry the onions with the garlic. For that here I have 3 tablespoons of oil, 1 teaspoon cumin seeds, 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds, 2 to 3 green chilies you can adjust based on your spice level, 4 to 5 garlic cloves that I have crushed. You can also use garlic paste or finely chopped garlic. And here I have 1 medium onion, 150 grams that I have sliced. I'm adding the oil. Wait for the oil to be heated up before adding the cumin and the mustard seeds. The oil is now hot. We will add the cumin seeds, mustard seeds and also the green chilies and we will fry this for 30 to 40 seconds till the seeds start spluttering. The seeds are now spluttering. Now I will add the crushed garlic and we will fry this at a low flame for another one minute. It's been a minute. Now I will add the sliced onions and we will fry the sliced onions at a medium flame for three to four minutes. It's been about four minutes. Now we will add the kundru or the tindora. So here I have 600 grams of the kundru that I have sliced in the middle. So I've basically cut it into half along the length. Now you can cut it into any other shape. You can cut it into round circles. So completely your choice. I've decided to just split into half. So I'm adding all of that. And now we will mix this well with the onions and we will continue to fry this till the onions caramelize and turn light brown. The onions have now turned light brown. So frying the kundru with the onions gives it a nice crispiness. So now what we will do is we will add our dry powdered spices, half a teaspoon turmeric powder, half a teaspoon roasted cumin powder, two teaspoons coriander powder, one teaspoon amchur or dry mango powder, and two teaspoons of Kashmiri red chili powder. You can also use regular red chili powder if you want more heat. Now we will mix this really well and saute this for another two to three minutes. We want to make sure that the kundru is really nicely coated with the masala. And as you're frying the kundru with the spices, make sure you keep the flame at low or medium low. Otherwise the powdered spices can get burnt. It's been three minutes and the kundru is really nicely coated with the masala like you can see here. Now we will add some salt as per taste and we will also add some chopped coriander leaves. And again mix this all well together. I have mixed everything well. Now what we will do is we will cover this it with a lid and we will continue to cook this at a low flame till the kundru gets completely cooked. Uh, we will not add any water because cooking this at, on a low flame makes the kundru really nicely crispy. But in between, make sure you open the lid, lid and keep stirring it occasionally just to make sure that the kundru is not getting stuck or getting burnt. Um, it will take between 15 to 20 minutes for the kundru to get completely cooked, but it can vary depending on your flame intensity and oven. It's been about 20 minutes and our tindora or kundru is now completely cooked. I stirred it a few times in between, so make sure you do that as well. It's a really easy and super tasty dish. So please do try the recipe this way and let me know how it works out for you. Thank you so very much for watching my channel.